That's right. It is day two of a five-day strike here at St. Francis in Linwood. Joining me now live, Mayra Castañeda. She's an ultrasound technician, 25 years here at St. Francis. Mayra, a lot of issues on the table with Prime Healthcare, who owns the hospital. Yes. What is your biggest issue? The short staffing. It's a short staffing crisis. It was a, a crisis during COVID, and it only got worse. We are burned out. I am burned out. We're tired. We need more healthcare workers in the industry. Now, you were telling me that often you're asked to work 16 hour shifts, longer days, more days than normal. And in healthcare, you were telling me that could be dangerous to a patient. Yes, clearly, because if we're burned out, we're not providing the proper care, the same care that we normally would if we're just working our regular shift. Now, we're going to read a statement from Prime in just a minute, but another issue on the table, an important one to everyone here, pay raises. And you were telling me, Prime, and we're going to read that statement in a second, and they say that they've offered you a, a wage increase, and what does that mean here at the hospital? Well, the wage increases that they've offered, I'm going to be honest, it's not that they've been bargaining in good faith. Uh, they're talking about 1% and 2%, and the last one was 3%. I mean, you're talking about cents. For majority of these people here, 30 cents. 40 cent raises. That's not a living wage for the healthcare workers. And there have been no raises, some people have been telling me, in three to four years. Absolutely. So we've been living on a 2019 wages. We have not. We've been on a wage freeze for over three years now. All right. Mayra Castañeda, thank you very much, ultrasound technician. I want to read a statement now from Prime Healthcare that we just received. It is the other side of the story. They said, in part, proposals have been delivered to the unions that would increase wages and provide comprehensive benefit programs, including health care that is among the best in the nation at little or no cost to employees. We believe the current proposal benefits all our employees and hope to reach an agreement so we can continue our mission of providing compassionate quality care for patients. While we are disappointed that the unions have elected to move forward with a strike, we respect their right to strike as part of the negotiation process. More negotiation sessions are scheduled with prime health care. But again, this strike here at St. Francis, a very important trauma center in Linwood, is set to go on until Friday. Reporting live, I'm Gigi Graciette. Back to you.